Hey guys, episode number five, coming live from my bathroom. So I'm not talking anything health or fitness related today. However, we're talking a little bit about beauty stuff. Um, so what some people know about me is I have all my permanent makeup done and that is something that I did for myself this year because I don't want to do my makeup and things like that. And I think that some people see that as being um, like too into like themselves or their appointments or whatever, but I like to do it to feel super low maintenance because I never really have to do my makeup now and yeah, I really like it. Um, some other things I did this year, tried Botox. I love it. Being, you know, 36, pushing 37, it was time. And the last change that I made was changing my hair from dark to light to help blend some of my gray hairs in. Now, if you knew me before, you probably knew that my hair was almost black when I started this process uh, earlier this spring. Now, I have some blonde locks. However, it's been a bit of a battle. Um, I now have a mullet. I've kind of blended it in a little bit, but if you'll notice, in the process, I worked really hard with my hairdresser to try and avoid as much breakage as possible, invested in all of the best hair products. So um, I got the Olaplex system. So I have the four and five. I even have the newest like bonding oil, the Olaplex number six. Like I was taking this serious to go on this journey to turn my hair into blonde. I was doing masks on it, the Living Proof series, everything. And um, we went away to BC and I needed to get somebody to do my hair as such. They over bleached the ends and my hair that was probably down to, oh yes, where my nipple is, we just had to cut last week because it all had broken off. It's also broken off all the way around. I mean, I could be super pissy and upset about this because we did take all the steps, but I actually don't mind the actual like length of my hair. It's a little like 90s um, with the layer on, on the tops of either side where the breakage was. And we had to go with like a little bit of a uh, little asymmetrical look for now, but that it was going to be cutting off, you know, another couple inches off of there even so. So yeah, I thought if I've taken you into my fridge, maybe I'll do my cupboard one of these days, I should take you into my bathroom. Uh, the last thing that I want to show you that I absolutely love are all my ordinary products. So I don't know if you can see them, but this line is from Sephora. The things range from, um, I don't know, seven to 14 or $15. Good quality. I don't work for Sephora. So like, look at my hair right now. I don't even, you guys can't even take me seriously. You're like, girl, look at you. You got it. Like you have a zit on your chest. How am I supposed to take you seriously when you're talking about face products? <laughs> It was a recommendation from another friend and lots of other people like them too. So please ignore my 80s style haircut and just take my word on the face products as well. Now you're up to speed in my life. Um, on this part of it too. So I hope you enjoyed and you got something out of this. Have a good night guys.